Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here in Rome, Italy and that is San Giovanni and uh, it's an amazing church and it uh, is just amazing um, and it's got these statues out front which is cool but the church is amazing but right over there's two things here so the church is really amazing we'll go inside there and do that and they have a relic I think which is the the platform that Jesus, I don't know, stood on and got judged or something. And you can see the back of this sculpture here. Statue, sculpture. Okay. But what's another thing that's amazing is over here. And that's Scala Santa. Scala Santa. Uh, how am I going to do this? I guess I should do two separate videos. So we'll leave this one as the intro to that one. Just know I'm going to do Scala Santa too, which is the, the steps that Jesus had to climb up on his knees carrying the cross. And it's uh, amazing all of it in itself. But anyway, that is um, that church. <laughs> okay. Pretty amazing. Uh, are we crossing? If she's crossing, I'm crossing. <laughs> you know, it's easy to hit one person. It's not so easy to hit five people. <laughs> San Giovanni. And it's surrounded by these incredible walls. Very cool. And I'm crossing here. I can run. Okay. So I'll just keep filming and we'll just go do San Giovanni. And then I'll head over to Scala Santa. <sighs> and I think this used to be one of the papal churches. There's four of them in Rome. Um, if I understand it right. San Magori or uh, yeah, Magori. St. Peter's Basilica, St. Paul's Basilica, and this one? Is that right? Or uh, I think that's close. Anyway. I have to go through security over there on the right. To get in I think isn't that amazing uh, may a uh, zing wow wow yeah okay I'm gonna stop recording and I'll go inside bye everybody look at the security on the outside I looked at a trash can and trash all over the place anyway <laughs> All right, Eric, don't get, don't get distracted. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, this is the entry area of San Giovanni. And it's amazing. But it's really the insides. It's all the statues and the such that just makes it amazing. statues here and this one here I mean that's I can't even reach that I mean, it's not even close look at the doors compared to the guy and there's the guy <laughs> I guess I'll go down and we'll film all the, and then I'll come back the other way. So we'll do the statues. Because they're amazing. Look at his arms and his hands.
of sight gets the sun. Sorry about the sun coming through those windows. must be service. I can always look. to buy the extra ticket to get to see the relics. Painting 
paintings on the wall, the frescoes. Oh man, I can feel the sweat running down my back. Those are all mosaics. And that's all marble. Wow, wow. There's a breeze coming in that door and it feels so good. Look at the mosaics and our frescoes from this side. my views on it I'm going to tell you my views on it <laughs> I think we should tax the hell out of the Christian or the church and religions I don't care if you're Jewish Catholic Muslim whatever you should pay taxes you get all this money in tithes and donations I think that uh, it's a business you run it like a business spend three bucks and we'll go outside. Bye. Okay, so I got the ticket and she says it's out to the right. And it's the stand of Jesus or the... I forgot everything is that fire hazard here. Okay, so it's beautiful. So what we're looking for, I mean, there's just all this historic stuff and I love these courtyards and I love these pillars look at how different they are spirals big spirals little spirals spirals with inlay straight regular spirals or I guess it's not a spiral if it's straight and regular <laughs> um, it's pretty amazing but that one right there this is the stand of Jesus. Um, let's see what it says about it. It says, 
Damaged tomb slab. So that's the tomb of Jesus, I guess. Let's look at the other one, the other side, and see what it says. And it says, Latin inscription referring to the red prof prophecy slab on the wall. Um, red slab on which it was believed that the Roman soldiers had thrown dice for Christ's robe. Okay, what's this one? Four columns supporting the granite slab at the height was supposed to be palms of Christ, hence their Latin name. So this is how tall Jesus was? So this is the top of Jesus, and that's where they were <laughs> rolling dice for his robe? <laughs> I can't even imagine. Okay. Hmm. Somebody will have to look this up and give me some information on this, because I... I don't understand. Is that how tall Jesus was? How tall is this? Do I fit under this? I do not. My head hits it. Um, so I'm like 6'4", and I hit about right here. So this is probably, maybe Jesus was six foot tall. Maybe 5'11 and three quarters. <laughs> no, 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 he was six foot. No, no, five and three quarters. No, no, no. <laughs> um, Do you speak English? Is this how tall Jesus was? You don't know. Okay. Okay. Good at me. All right. Well, um, that's that. Let's go around and we'll see the rest of the place. <laughs> Let me look back a little bit just so you get the, the impression. There it is right there. Huh. Okay. In the courtyard, it's beautiful. And the columns. Hmm. And they have Egyptian. breeze feels so good. Very cool. I kind of like that one too. It's got like grooved spirals. And that one's lions. Hey, that's it for me, San Giovanni, everybody. Thanks for coming. You know, and I, somebody commented that I, you know, I messed up the, the verbiage or the pronunciation, pronunciation of the words on some of the locations and they couldn't watch my videos anymore. I'm really sorry about that. You know, but I'm, I'm just here to give you a graphic picture. If I wanted to, you know, do myself, I could film myself the whole way through, but that doesn't give you, you know, what you're going to be looking at and what you're going to see and, and those types of things. I'd rather, I'd rather see what there is to see because I'm so visual. I think I've said this about a hundred times, but I just want to make sure I'm recapping it. It's about what you see, not about what I tell you. Any man can mess up any verbiage or pronunciation or spelling or, you know, I've been calling it Cheesa for so long. <laughs> Somebody even called me on my Facebook phone and said, uh, it's not cheesa dumb, but, and so, uh, anyway, neither here nor there. It's about uh, what you get to see. It's about that courtyard. It's about the grass. It's about that fountain and the well that's right in the middle. It's about these pillars. It's about that platform. It's about everything that's not in my voice, but that my camera captures. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>